Okay, recording in progress. We have started our Zoom. All of you are very welcome, friends. How are we? Uh, hope we are good. Thank you so much for joining in. Those who have joined us, you are all very, very welcome. Uh, where are the rest? Where are the rest? I'm going to request everyone in this Zoom. Let's go to the training groups. Let's go to our training group and we put a message in just a minute. Then we we'll start. I want you to put a message that we are live. We are live. Oh, we have started. Any message. Let's go. In a minute, then we start our training. Whatever we are going to learn today is very, very important. Okay, okay, okay. I think we are done. Uh, thank you so much. You are all very welcome to this Zoom. I uh, want to congratulate you. <laughs> People writing here the message, we are live. This message must be written in your WhatsApp group, not here. Uh, okay, you are all very welcome. Let me meet some people. I think some people are making noise in the room. Uh, I'm seeing a number of people who have joined in. You are all very welcome. Today, we are going to have a very technical training. Um, we are going to be learning about something very, very important. It's going to be our topic today. Okay, what we are going to learn today is very, very important. The today's topic, if you master it, you are going to be very successful in RayQ. I want to remind you, my dear friend, that whenever we have a training here, make sure that you bring, you make sure that you, 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 you let your downlines come in and attend. Those who can attend at this time, let's do it. Uh, those who can't afford this time, uh, they can go on our YouTube channel and watch these videos uh very effectively okay for the new members who joined us yesterday we had to be with the an orientation we, uh, we couldn't we were having a video shoot for the team so we failed to put it up but please go on our youtube channel it's called the rail q robot game changers go on our youtube channel okay go and watch a video uh called new users orientation it's a very very important uh, training, uh, which is going to mentor you and orient you about the business. But otherwise, I want to remind you again, you are all very welcome. Welcome to the team. Welcome to our training. Today, we're going to be looking at how do you put up your capital into the trading robot. For example, I've started the business. My capital is $200. These are one of the topics which are really playing people. And uh, I would love everyone to master them, okay? If you master this, you are going to be very, very, very successful. For example, I've started the business and my trading capital is $300, is $1,000. I've started the business and my trading capital is, uh, uh, for example, my trading capital is, is $10,000, $5,000, $100. $300, $500, $600. How do I put up this in the trade settings? Okay, we're going to be looking at this. Um, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen here. Um, this is my screen. 
uh, I think all of you, we can see it. Uh, then I'm going to bring my pen. I want to put this in portrait, okay? Okay. So, this is my book, okay? This is, this is our book. Uh, okay. I've put things in portrait, but I'm not seeing how they are changing. What's wrong? Anyway, so now this is it. I've started the business. How do I put my capital in the trade settings? In trading, these two things make money. Okay, these three things. Let me say two. Let me change the color to yellow or orange. First of all, capital. Capital is key when you are trading. We've seen what the market has done for the last three days. I think the market has been very happy. People have been floating lows. They have come out. Some people, they have sold half their coins. I think it's a good thing. And this is going to happen for a full year next year. So people, please go out and look for capital. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for $100. Don't settle for $300. Let's go out and look for more capital in trading. Don't trade with very little money. It will cripple your earnings. It will limit you in earnings. So make sure you are growing your, your capital. Second, the number of coins you are trading, they also matter. Now, miss, most people mis, misunderstand this. They go out and they start trading very many coins with very little capital. You find someone with only $150, but they are having five coins. Hey, what are you doing? Now, if we divide 150 divided by five, how much money are you giving each coin? How much? $25? Is that business? $150, you should be trading only one coin. Don't even think about any other coin. $300, one coin. Don't think about any other coin. $600, it's okay. You can put two with the H with a budget of five, $300. You get the point. Now, number of coins you are trading, they also matter in earnings. For example, yesterday, INJ, people by the way were trading INJ in, in cycle. Uh, me, my team, the, most of them, they have been trading INJ in cycle. It has been giving them money for, uh, for, for some good weeks now. The cycle for ING has stopped. Okay. Because ING has hit its target for the for the Gatley predictor. So if you stay in ING, you might go in floating loss because it might come down. It has reached its uh, uh its over of overbought. Get the point? So you can put it in one shot. Now, if it sells, it goes out. Okay, so the number of coins. If I have been trading XRP, INJ, uh, Kava, Acro, Neo, um, SXP, CFX, like I'm having eight coins, you may find that four of them will deliver and they will give me money. Three of them, they will be buying, they will be negative. Tomorrow, the ones which have been negative, tomorrow they are the ones which are selling. So I'll be in a cycle of earnings. However, if I'm only trading only one trade, the problem I will face is that if my that one trade has not delivered, I will have to wait for it for the next day. Even the other day, it can even hit a week. It's very possible. So one of the ways of making money is having the number of coins, trading different coins but you must qualify for this. Don't just do it, okay? Then third, margin calls. Margin calls also matter. 
When you are trading, you must think about the margin calls. Okay? You must think about the margin calls. The more margin calls, the more money. Because the market we are in is volatile. Whenever the market goes down, think about buying more of that same trade. Think about buying more of that same trade. For example, if I've been trading I and J with 30 margin calls, that means that whenever this trade was buying, okay, whenever it was going down, my robot has been buying, 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 then boom, the market starts to catch up and then it comes up. Then my robot will be selling margin calls, margin calls, margin calls, buying, 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 selling, selling, selling. So the number of margin calls also is very important. Okay. The number of margin calls is also very, very important. Think about it. Okay. Now, today, we're going to be looking at uh, how do you set uh how do you set margin calls for your robot? For example, if I come on my robot here and I want to trade one inch, for example, so when I tap my one inch, I tap create, I tap margin bot, I tap create again, I tap next, for example. Okay? Now, the trade settings. I'm only setting for this robot. That means if it sells, if I'm going to put a new trade, I will have to set it again. The robot has a solution for that. This is what it did. The robot is saying, no, just come here on mine. After tapping my, scroll down, tap my strategy settings. When you tap my strategy setting, design your own settings. Okay? Design your own, design your own settings. For example, let me delete this. When you have never designed settings, this is how they look like. This is how the page looks like. It will say, add it now. So we tap add it now. Today we are going to focus on how to put capital in your trade settings. That's our topic today. Okay? How to put capital in our trade settings. Now I want you to look here. First of all, I want to give you the formula. Okay? The formula, this is how it is. First of all, in our formula, we've, we have to find out these two things. The first buy in amount, second, the number of margin calls. Number of margin calls. In our formula, how do we find out the first buying amount and the number of margin calls? This is how we do it. Okay? Get your capital. Divide it by the number of margin calls you want to give you the first buying amount. Let's go to our calculator. When we go to our calculator, get the amount of capital you have. For example, my capital is $500. When my capital is $500, I divide it by the number of margin calls I want. For example, I want margin calls, 30 of them. This number of margin calls will give me the first buying amount. So I come here to my robot and I put in So I come here to my robot, I tap, and I tap the, 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 I tap my robot. Remember the answer I've got. The answer is 16.6. So I come, I put 16.6 as my first buying amount. You get the formula. How do you get the, the first buying amount? Get the amount of capital you have. Divide it by the number of margin calls you want to have in your trades. 
Now I've got the number of, now I've got the, capi, the, the, the first binomial, rather. Okay? Now, even I've got the margin call limit, which is 30. It is 30. You get the point? Now, switch off that AI margin call button. Have you got it? Now, the next stop, the next thing is this. The margin configuration. How is my robot going to buy? We come back here. Now, how do we set the, how do we set, how do we set, uh, 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 because this is the number of margin calls. That was the formula. Now, the question is, how do we set margin configurations? Margin configurations. How do we set that? Simple. Okay? See? Simple. When you are, when you are doing your settings, you must know the, 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 the coverage you want to give your robot. For example, when we are trading, you must know that a coin can drop up to 40% at least. Otherwise, coins can drop up to 50%. 60%, 70%, 80%, even 100%. So on average, set a coin dropping 40%. So I'm designing my settings with, with security, with uninsurance, that in case this trade I'm having goes down up to 40%, I'm still in business. That if I'm trading Acro and Acro goes down, it starts to move down. Even if it goes up to 40%, my capital is enough to keep on buying this same coin. Get the point. So I'm covering 40% with my amount of $500. Okay? Now, how do we get the... Now, what we are looking for here is this. We are looking out at the margin call drops. Margin call drop, what does that mean? On our Saturday training, we explained these things and what they mean. Imagine call drop means you are ordering your robot, but you are telling it, like you are telling your robot. So you are telling your robot how it should buy, okay? That how, sh how it should be buying and of what percentage that whenever the market drops to this level, the robot buys. Whenever the market drops to this level, the robot buys. Whenever the market drops to this level, the robot buys. How do we get that answer? Come to your calculator. Come to your calculator here. Okay. Now we are going to clear. Um, we are going to clear. Now, we get our number of margin calls. They are 30. We divide by the drop, which is 40. No, no, no. We, we get our, our, our drop percentage, which is 40, divided by the number of margin calls. That is 1.3. That means if every drop is dropping 1.3 times 30 margin calls, the answer is 40. The answer is 40. You get the point. So simple. Get the number of, get the drop that my settings, I want them to cover 40%. So write 40 there, divide by the number of margin calls, which is 30. The answer you get is the drop. You come here. So you come here on your robot and you start editing. You put 1.3%. Okay? You go to the next. You put 1.3%. You go to the last, you put 1.3. Up to infinity, up to the 50th, up to the four, to the 30th margin call. So you keep editing 1.3, 1.3, 1.3, up to the last margin call. Have we got this? So if, if, if your coin drops, whenever it drops 1.3, robot buys. Whenever it drops 1.3, the robot. Whatever it drops 1.3, the robot buys. With this kind of trading, you will be in the, in the market always and you will be making money always, depending on your trading capital. Now, we have done we have done filling in the margin call drop. We have done filling in the orders the robot is going to follow whenever the market drops. 
Because our psychology of trading is simple. Buy low and sell high. So whenever we see this coin dropping, that means it is my time to buy low. It has gone down in price. Bitcoin was at 26,000. In just a week, it is at 34. How much money is that? If I had bought a full Bitcoin at 26,000 and I sell it right now, how much capital, how much money do I make as profits? Do you know that I make $8,000 in just a period of one week? That's what we call trading. So our robot is making sure that it buys at a lower price. These are the drops. Whenever you drop at this level, buy. Whenever you drop at this level, buy. Now the question is, buy with how much? That's what we call. Eh? The robot is asking, how much should buy with? This is it. The robot is asking, what is the multiple buying ratio? After dropping to that level, what should I do? How much money should I inject in, in this trade? But this kind of orders must be in ratios. Ratio, simple, put one time. All of them, one times. One time is what? One time is the first buying amount. One time is the first buying amount. Our first buying amount was 16.3. 16.3. So that means if I'm having 16.3 on every drop, $16.3 times 30 margin calls, that's my capital. Okay? Actually, I think it was 16.33. That's my capital. That's the $500 capital. Are we getting the point? So, when we are trading, the most, th this is where the business is. If you understand how to give your robot orders here, adding in these parameters, you are going to make crazy money. Depending on your capital. Do you have $2,000, but you would love to make settings for $500, you make settings for $500 and put four coins because each coin will be using a budget of $500 according to the settings. Because if I have $2,000 and I decide that let me create settings for $500 a trade and I make the settings for $500 like this one, that means if I go in trading at strategy, I will have four coins. Time was 500, that is 2,000. Have you got the, Have you got this? Friends, are we getting the point? The most important part here in trade settings is margin configuration. In margin configuration, that's where the business is. It's like you are driving a car and you are giving it gears. These are the gears. The rest, you can do as we last learned last time. You do, for example, 0 0.1 here, you put 0 0.01. Have you got the answer? Then you save. The rest is then you don't need to edit a lot. Even if you forget to edit them, as long as you edit the margin configuration, you will be in business. These are settings of $500. And for me, with my trading strategy, I advise every signal, you trade it with your own settings. Just pick a signal. If they have put a signal in a group that let's trade acro, let's give it 5%. The only thing you should do edit is the take profit ratio. The rest leave them as they are, as your plan. Because we have seen very many trade signals whereby they drop more than the signal. The signal is saying drop 5%, but a coin has dropped 30. So my advice would be keep your trade settings. Keep them in, in work. As you are trading, use your trade settings. Just use signals. Let's trade acro, you put acro, but with your settings. Let's trade CFX, put CFX, but with your settings. Because these settings we are planned to protect you for the percent in the market. Whenever you trade with a plan, you will make money. Whenever you trade far, you will not make money, even if you have a lot of money. 
Me, myself, I've done a lot of mistakes in trading. A lot. They are countless. I put a trade. I put my own money. <laughs> now, this, this study, the market was booming. Do you know how many mistakes people are doing? Do you know how many mistakes people are doing? People are very funny. They are doing serious mistakes. How? They are injecting in all their money in a trade because they are seeing an uptrend. And then they be in floating loss for months. I have done that mistake so much. It's because of feelings. When you trade with emotions, you find problems. You are seeing a coin going up. I am J20%. <laughs> Boom, you put all your money in a trade. Kumbi, it has reached its overbought. Now it's going to be sold. The market starts dropping. You don't have a plan. You didn't have a backup. You are caught in a trade. So one of the most easiest thing is this kind of trading. Find out how much capital, how much money, how much capital you have. For example, my capital is one thousand dollars. I want to trade with one thousand dollars a coin. Divide it by the number of margin calls that I want to trade. Fifty margin calls. That means the answer I get is the first line amount. Now, when I'm coming to margin calls, okay, I have 50 margin calls. I have to cover 40%. I put 40% divided by 50. The answer is 0 0.8. That means on every drop, I'll have 0.8%. How do I get the ratio of buying? Simple. Put one times 20, the first buying amount. On every drop, the robot will be injecting in $20, $20. Because 20 times 50, it is $1,000. You will make crazy money with such a trade. You make crazy money. I'm telling you. You will enjoy trading. You will enjoy trading. You will enjoy the business. You will love it. You will enjoy it. You will, I don't know even what to say. You will like the trading. You will do it very well. And you will be having no panics in the market. So my dear champions and friends, I advise you, please, let's go and trade with a plan. We will not cry floating loss. Even if you're trading inside. For me, there are trades I put inside. Let me give them a list. I trade these coins inside. What's the game? XRP. So So Psycho, I-N-J, Psycho, but this one has up, up canceled it today, okay? Up, Psycho, Cover, Psycho, um, uh, Cover, there is CFX, Psycho, IDEX, Psycho, um, what do I mean by Psycho? I give a budget. When I'm trading Psycho, I cover 50% or 40% at a least. Then I put a trade in cycle. I give it a budget. I leave it. A coin like XRP. It will give you money continuous without hustling in the market looking out for signals. Your robot will be there trading. Let me tell you something about how this robot selected coins to put them on the, on the robot. We have very many coins on Binance. Very many coins. Over 500 coins. But the robot only selected a few of them. They are like paper coins only. And it was like, with these coins, my people can make money. The robot only choose coins which are not so volatile, like Exxon. You go on Binance. You are going to find a coin pumping 50% in a day. A coin pumping 1,000%. Do you know what it means, a coin to go up 1,000%? That means when it comes down, it will go 1,500%. Imagine, imagine you have invested your money in such a trade. You will lose money. The robot didn't put those coins. It only put coins, it knew that these coins, they can make money every single day. They can give my people money. Those are the trades it chose. Trading with a plan to give you freedom. Trading with a plan to give you freedom. You will be putting your robot at the right work it was designed to do. This robot was designed to make for you money. Look at the money you made today in the night. 
those who were trading. In the night you were sleeping, the robot was busy making. And even your phone was off. You were even charging it. Naika robot kawa dedinga kakola sent kari mukola sent kari muk trading. So please, friends, don't take trading for granted. Don't do that. Don't take trading for granted. It's going to make you crazy money. You are going to enjoy it. You are going to do it. You are going to really like it. But you have a plan. Don't just trade. Don't just put your money in trades. We are in a volatile market. You don't know where it's going. Okay? I hope... Uh, I hope... My training has been clear at least. I've stopped sharing my screen, uh, waiting for questions in case people have questions. Today's topic, uh, I wanted it to make it very short and precise. Thanks for the work, leader. You're very welcome, Mr. Julius. Mr. Money, I like your name. You know, I love money. I love its color. I love everything about money. Its name. Eh? I think my last born I will make a name him money. Oh, ha. <laughs> money is good. You get the point. Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? According to our topic, if you have a question, I'm ready to answer it. Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? I want you to go in the chat and type in your question you have and we answer it. Okay. Um, very educated leader. So what are the coins suggested for cycle? I'll put them there. I told you XRP is a very good coin. Uh, Acro is very good, but Acro must have very big drop. Give it a drop of 60% to give you good money. Trade CFX, uh, it will give you good money. <laughs> Mr. Abu traded ING yesterday, he made good money. ING was a very good coin. But then let me tell you something. Let me show you something. Uh, I taught this to people last time, but let me share a screen again. And one day I was training here and I told the people the same thing. There is, there is that indicator called the Gatley predictor. Did Harriet talk about it last time? It predicts where a coin can go. Hmm? Look at this trade. You look at ING. ING has hit a target. Please, those who are in ING, go out. Get out of this trade. Are you seeing those lines? Those are the lines I took for this trade. I told people that this coin is going to hit $12. Do you remember? It has hit to a low. And I remember telling them that when it hits 11, put one short. Do you remember? But in this trade, we started it last time. Some of us were here. We traded it. It went down. It was buying margin calls. But you are seeing that it was having a very healthy trade. Buy sales, buy sales. As long as you had a plan for it, you were making money in, in ING. It made money. Gatli, Gatli predictor predicted this coin that it will hit $12. It doesn't show the date, but it shows you that it will hit it. When you check any coin and it shows you that Gatli predictor at a higher time frame, like one day, enter that trade and give it cycle. It will make for you money. But there will be retracements like it did last time. Are you seeing? I remember there are people I gave this, I gave this trade last time, I think two months back to three months, but then it went down. Those who didn't have enough margin calls, they are in floating loss. Those who did, they made a lot of money. They made good money. You get the point. They made good money. Their robot was buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling, and then finally it has hit the point. You wait, it hits this box. You are going to see it dropping. So please, those who are in ING, get out. Give it one shot. 
give it one shot and switch off the margin call button because this trade has, is going to reach its 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 uh, uh, of, of about. We are we are we are meant to use our robot on auto, so that you go and do other things. How do you build teams when every day you are checking coins? How do you build teams? The day you are in the market. I, I don't know whether I'm not a good trader, but for me, I don't have time to be on the market looking for coins. No way. Drawing, support and resistance, for what? For me, I want to put my robot at work. I go and I build my team. I want to become a V4. Next day, I want to become a V6. I need a team of 5,000 people. I don't have time to sit on the on the on the computer doing market analysis when the robot can do these things for me. I give it good settings, I give the robot, it trades the coin. It will give you freedom. There is a strategy uh coach MRD gave us, I think two months back. It's a very good strategy. If you have good money, that strategy was for people with three thousand dollars. And with 3,000, you are trading only one coin. <laughs> For him, he was giving a suggestion. Pick the most volatile coins, like Acro, like Cover, like ING, like uh, MDX, like uh, WorldCoin. Give it 150 margin calls. Imagine 150 margin calls with a budget of $3,000. Actually, even if you have 1,500, you can give it. You leave the coin in the in cycle. That strategy works very well. You have peace. You don't need to come and put signals, putting trades. The robot is doing its job. Now, your job is to go out and look for capital. If you are trading only Acro, look for another 3,000, you trade MDX. Look for another 3,000, you trade ING. You look for another 3,000, you trade World Coin. You're going to make money. Of course, do what you see makes for you money. Do what you see is working for you. That is the best concept in business. For me, that's what works for me. I don't like to be on in the market all the time. Why, why did I buy the robot? I want you to put your robot at work. Give it its job. Okay? Are we getting the point? So ING was a very good coin. I will look out for other coins which have which the Gatil predictor has already predicted, and we see whether they can also work for us very well. You get the point? Aha. Uh -huh. Let me see the questions here. Mm -hmm. I need you personally about ING. Abu, why do you need me personally? How to set nickname on downline account to appear on your team quantification? Simple. Okay, let me do that practically. Let me do that practically. Let me share my screen. Go to your robot. Go to your robot here. Where is my robot? Okay. When you reach your robot, tap, ho tap mine. Tap mine. Then scroll up. Okay. Are you seeing where there is this There's this red, uh, white arrow here in the blue space. Okay, tap that arrow. Tap that arrow. When you tap it, edit the nickname. Let them edit the nickname. By the way, always do this when someone has just registered. You get the point. Do that when someone, for me, when, whoever I help to register, you must check your nickname first and edit it. How will I know that you are making money? Because they have to look out in my team and see who's making money and who is not. The ones who, who, are, who are making money, I go and look out for them and I'm like, hey, how are you? How is business? They can't lie me because I'm already seeing them. And those who are not making money, I go and I'll reach out to them and I ask them, what, how is it? <laughs> You get the point? 
Uh, because this is what happens when uh, when people edit their nicknames. When you come to your reward details, for example, when you come to your reward details, you will see who has made money. Okay? You tap on team quantification. They will show you everyone who has made money. They will show you so and so has made money. So and so has made money. So and so has made money. You see? Team quantification. They will show you. Sarah has made money. Fabianga has made money. Raymond has made money. That's the beauty of, of people selecting their, their, their nicknames. Okay. Uh, no question. Just thank you for the session. You're very welcome, but brother Bunny. Um, what about OMGSDT? How is it in giving money? I don't like that coin. I don't know why. To put him in floating loss for very many months. <laughs> OMG, ONEG, I hate them. How do I switch off my imagine call, Papa? Okay, Abu, you are new in the business. You will learn a lot. It's it's an option there in the trade settings. Okay, hello, members. I'm sorry for being late. And you are not sorry, brother. Why are you late? Run at the same pala. Run at the same pala. Thank you so much for attending. Lead a hope for ONT. Me too. I have ONT to put me in floating loss. That's why I said I don't like coins with starting with the O A M G O N T. <laughs> They're not good coins. These are the coins which pumped last time. That's what I always tell you. Mm -hmm. Then um, um uh, I think those are the coins we have. So, um, friends, we are going to end our training. Let me see whether we have another coin. Would WRX shall it reach all time high of last week? Hey, I'll do an analysis about it, or you can do analysis and see whether it will. I've not, I've not looked out on it very well. For me, I told you I don't spend my all time in in trading in the market. No way, no way, no way. I give my robot the job to trade. Uh, thank you so much for listening, but I'll check that WRX. I'll put information in, in the trading groups. Thank you so much for coming in and learn with me, friends. Have a great day. See you at the top. Don't miss this training every day at 12 p.m. Have a great time. See you at the top. Let's go and enjoy trading. Don't forget on Saturday, come and attend the boot camp. Okay? Come and attend the boot camp. If you have not bought a ticket, you don't know what you're doing. These are the things they're going to be teaching at the boot camp. Come and experience trainings from the quality leaders of Royal Q. Okay? Come and build that. Saturday, we are starting very early in the morning. At 8, we are taking breakfast. At 9 sharp, we are starting our trainings. By 4 p.m., we are done. Everybody who will attend that training, let me tell you something. They are going to learn a lot of things. They are going to empower their business. They are going to kickstart 2024 very well and more aggressively to make more money. So please don't miss. Buy your ticket now. It's just $10. On that $10, everything is going to be catered for on that day. We are going to treat you like a student who has come in Russia from, from Africa <laughs> or from um, to America from Africa. Like we are going to take care of you. We are going to make sure that you learn. You're going to learn a lot of things. We want you to ask questions of the things you have not really mastered very well on that day physically. Okay? Get your ticket. Uh, I'm going to put the payment methods in the group right now in our groups. Go there, send you $10, take a screenshot, inbox the admin. They add you in the group of attendees. Have a great day. See you at the top. Get your ticket for the boot camp now.